Hope FM. It's Brett sitting down with Jordan and Adam from Apollo LTD. So tell me a little bit about the heart behind Redemption Song, how it came to be, what the story behind the redemption part of that is. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about this new song. Um, well, every song for us, I think, and uh, serves a purpose. And sometimes the purpose of the songs, um, we know what it's going to be on the front end when we write it. And sometimes the purpose sort of reveals itself after we write a song. I know that sounds kind of ethereal, but <laughs> for us, we went into a writing session in Nashville wanting to write a song um, that was just it meant to be an encouragement to people. Mm -hmm. And that encouraging message was one that no matter what your story is, it's a story that God is in the business of redeeming if we allow him to. If we, if we allow God to be a part of our story, he wants to take everything that's happened and he wants to use it for good. And so for us, we just were like, you know, why don't we write a song a little about our story and how we discovered that, that truth in our own lives and just remind people when they're listening to the radio or, you know, on their phones or wherever that like, Hey, no matter what's happened in your life, you are not beyond the point of redemption ever. Mm -hmm. And if we can just allow God to use that story for good, he will. And he does. Yeah. So. And I think just the, the encouragement and the reminder of, you know, there's hope for the future. There's hope for tomorrow. There's, what we've been through and and our past doesn't define us. It's not who we are, and we can you know we can always look ahead. That's it's kind of the other message I feel like that we were really excited to remind people of. So take me into a Apollo LTD concert. What is it like to be at a show where you guys are bringing it? <laughs> <laughs> it's loud. Uh, I think it's a lot but of, not too loud. Not too <laughs> Uh, Just it's, kidding. We we like to move around a lot. We we have a lot of energy that we like to get out on stage. So very high energy, um, man. We just yeah. I think we just like to have a good time. Well, I I was an ADHD kid growing up, and let's just say that I'm grateful that the Lord sent me in the direction of uh, of a career that I can utilize some of that energy in a good way. We can channel that in a positive direction. Yeah. So there's definitely a lot of energy, a lot of running around. And uh, I feel like it's not a show if we're not a, at least a little bit sweaty at the end of it. So for sure, we try to bring it every night. So for somebody who has never heard an Apollo LTD song, what would what would you hope that a new listener to Apollo LTD would would experience? I think it, I mean, I think a central message to our music is hope and joy. Yeah, you know, I mean, we I, I know it's not, we really try to focus on creating music that is a reflection of who we are and who Christ is in us. And something that has always poured out into our art and is a central theme of the band is joy. Yeah. Like it's just joyful music, man. Like we, mm -hmm. and, I, and I, I hope that doesn't sound trite, but it, it's the truth. Like we just wanted to make sure that every record, every song we put out, there's that thread of just like excitement and joy and enthusiasm for who God is in our lives and who God is in the universe. And uh, mm -hmm. in the world, and, and what he's doing in our lives, yes, and, and absolutely, through us to the world, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're we're in a. I think we are in a constant state of uh, looking for something to get excited about, mm -hmm. and thankfully, um, there's a lot to get excited about the Lord. So, so being on tour with Colton Dixon and Jordan Saint Cyr, what what's most exciting to you guys about the Build a Boat tour? Honestly. They're both great dudes. So when we first booked this tour, I think I was genuinely just excited. Like, dude, we get to like hang out. These are our buddies. Like we've, we've played shows with Jordan. We've played shows with Colton throughout the years at, you know, summer festivals where we end up being on the same lineup and get to hang out and just get to know those guys uh, for, you know, an afternoon or whatever. Genuinely both are amazing guys. Like I would, I'm happy to call them friends and we were really excited just to, just to be a part of that camp. But otherwise, I mean, you're talking about two guys that have really great hearts for the Lord, great hearts for spreading a message of hope and encouragement. And, and it's not, it's not just on stage. Like you see it off stage as well. So um, it's just exciting to be around people that are hungry to see God like move, you know, and do it through the music, but also just do it through conversation and, you know, eating a meal with people and catering and, you know, being encouraging to, to people around and through that too. So it's great music with great guys. I mean, it's, it's a win-win for sure. 